That's the video when I show you for first time this machine. It's been three years since then and I'm really happy with the machine. I've done a lot of cool stuff. I cannot imagine kinetic armatures now without this machine. We've been able to design and build uh, a lot of uh, really intricate parts that otherwise would be impossible. So yeah, I'm super glad I bought it. I was really afraid because it was a huge investment for us. When we were like thinking, should we buy a milling machine? I thought about buying this machine without the enclosure and that would be, <laughs> now with the perspective, that would be uh, really stupid. But yeah, I'm glad we did with the total package and it's amazing to, to be able to design in 3D uh, a part and machine it right here in small batches and and that allows us to upgrade the parts every single batch so I try to improve a little bit everything that's great to do that because it's really flexible we can change really quickly the, the parts if something is not working in all the time I had to modify the machine in some aspects uh, improve some things um, and repair some things so it's not been easy but if you buy something like this you you expect to have this maintenance and and work on the machine so far i had to replace the fans uh, that cools down the electric cabinet and now it's uh, failing the cooling pump that that sends the liquid here so probably i will have to replace this pump soon it had some leaks uh, around the perimeter so you see it's all minor things nothing with the movement on the axis or the spindle I ordered this machine with this optional 3 tool tool changer and it's been great so the machine can work unattended with these 3 tools available and you can change in between them during the program but the problem is that I use more than 3 tools in almost every program that I run um, I've got plenty of them here that I need. In fact, in most of the programs I need 12 tools. That means that I have to pick the tool from here and place it in the spindle every single time that it changes the tool. And that's really time consuming and... So the plan in this video is to replicate this tool changer and have it in this side. So I will have six tools all the time.
Perfect, they look great. Now the next step is to make the T-nuts to secure the tool holders to the table. Thank you. 